Well, first on CBS this morning, U.S. News and World Report reveals its list of the best places to live in the United States. It ranks the country's 100 largest metropolitan areas. Colorado Springs, Colorado comes in at number five. Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina takes fourth place. Fayetteville, Arkansas is number three. Austin, Texas comes in second and... Denver is named the number one place to live in America. Brian Kelly is editor and chief content officer at U.S. News and World Report. Brian, nice to see you. Welcome. Good morning. So, really, um, the big thing has to be quality of life. What exactly does quality of life mean when someone's looking for a place to live? So, we took a number of factors that people valued as important. We, we surveyed people across the country, and um, things like commuting, uh, crime, education, Health care, the, the basics, uh, and, and, and certainly things in, related to environment and, and uh, you know, taking care of the community, those become really important factors for folks. Not the only factors. We have seven different factors that we put into place here. But um, that, that was, was really probably the dominant one. And in, in when you look at all these cities, that was the pattern that we saw. Look at Colorado, two cities in the top 10. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't think it's the marijuana, but there's other <laughs> things about Colorado that are appealing. Uh, if, if you certainly, have, you've, I'm sure you've been there. And, you know, that, that it epitomizes quality of life for a lot of people. Uh, you know, the, the commuting issue that you have in the, many of the big cities isn't so much there. You've got the natural beauty. You've got sort of very progressive politics. It's a combination of things that, that really just work very well. Good, good summer sports and good winter Absolutely. sports with the skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. exactly. Uh, also, they're near great universities, too. Yeah, that, that is one. Raleigh Durham, I think, Charlie, you may be yes. slightly familiar yes. with that. You know, the, 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 the tech triangle there. Right. You've Absolutely. got Duke, UNC, North uh, Carolina, Carolina State. State. And, and that, that is a big factor. When you look at these cities, there's a, there's a combination of tech and homey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So something like Fayetteville, Arkansas, which you might not ordinarily think about, but again, university there, so that's a factor. Uh, Des Moines actually doesn't do so badly on this list. Mm -hmm. Grand Rapids, Michigan. There's some really interesting cities that aren't in what you, you sort of normally talking about of the, of the big, hip, cool places. Mm -hmm. And then there's the hip, cool places. Mm -hmm. and, and culture, too. I mean, people who want to work also want to have a place that their kids can have a, a mm -hmm. full life. Yeah, I think except the, the highest culture, so New York City does it really poorly. <laughs> Los Angeles doesn't do very well. Is that expensive? It's because of other factors. It's expense. Yeah. Value is a big factor. So one of the things we looked at is desirability. Where do you want to live? But then we said, where can you afford to live? Mm -hmm. So the job market is a big factor. How much does a house cost and how much are you making? You may love the concept of living in Manhattan, but it's not going to happen for most people. So mm -hmm. that, that really was, uh, we, we tried to balance it so it was realistic. In many cities, the median age is 30. How, how, what kind of a role does age play? So the millennials, you talk <laughs> about quality of life. Millennials are very focused on quality of life, and, and a lot of these are young cities. Austin, Texas, probably the biggest example. Mm -hmm. that people are flooding to Austin, the highest number of people moving in of any of these cities. Same with Colorado Springs, similarly. But the, the young folks look at those quality of life factors. I think often the smaller environment, somewhat smaller, like Austin versus uh, uh, Dallas, mm -hmm. Um, th these, are, these are things that are very important for, for younger folks coming up. Maybe education isn't as high on the list because they don't have kids yet. That's, that's one of those things mm -hmm. that you have to, people change. I was glad to see that Washington, D.C. made the top ten. You know, uh, being somewhat from there, and I know as you Georgetown are. Georgetown it, grads. Yeah, Georgetown right. grads. It is, it's kind of a hip place these days. It really has changed. People still think of it as the stodgy government town, but it, it's a lot like a Denver if you go out on a Saturday night downtown. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people there, and the education, of course, being a big factor with D.C. too. How about Fayetteville, Arkansas? So, I mean, that has like a low desirability, but you know, does well. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, they have one is. large employer there called Walmart, which has really helped the place expand. But I think, as Charlie said, the you know, University of Arkansas is a, is a right. good institution that is a very, has a very powerful influence. It's kind of up in the hills there. It's, it's pretty nice. A lot of people retire there. The other, you know, you talk about millennials on the one hand. You're also talking about retirement yes. on the other hand, which, which affordability is a huge factor. So Fayetteville, very high value. Is climate a factor? We didn't look at weather. Uh, it, the weather's too complicated. Everybody's, <laughs> weather's everybody's own personal, you know, favorite. Depends. Some like it cold, some like it hot. But, uh, yeah. Well, Brian Kelly. A lot of fun. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks Thank a ton. You.